Hello noble ones and welcome back to Metatron's Academy for a daily dose of language content. So there is one accent that everyone keeps saying everywhere that it's impossible to understand. It has to do with English and it's the Scottish accent. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look for a few videos and we're going to test this together, you and I. Let's see if we can understand Scottish accent. When I, when I say it to somebody else, I tell her that. But it's there, it's there. But did I do it apart from that, did I? Well, you did. Wait, but so good. Now you're going to say, see, when you finally get the boss to admit it, you've got to say one or two lasses. So it's, clear, way, eh? it's clear, no, I'll keep it and guess what your daughter will see when she's I do it honestly, and do you know what? So I understood it's in there, blah, 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 and then honestly, <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I got in over my head. No idea. But maybe we'll get better. What's the point and you're going to hit me on the next couple of days? No, when you're no, talk, when you're no in the terry, when Next couple of days. There'll be bubbling and green. You're going to come bubbling and green on your knees and How? going about... It was only one. It was only one. Where did I... Man, I didn't want to talk to you. Scumbag. Scumbag. Rat, I don't even want to talk I think I understood scumbag and something about him coming back on his knees, but goodness gracious, I need to focus. It is so much easier for me. And this is not even a joke. It's so much easier for me to understand either Mandarin Chinese or Japanese than this. I don't want to talk to you. I think he said, I don't want to talk to you. My gosh, okay. So the first thing we have established, angry Scots are like the, the, the final boss. So let's go for something a little easier next time. Let's see what this, what this girl is saying. I think she's going to stop someone on the street. That's what the video was about, I believe. The Scottish accent is famous for being difficult to understand, but the Glaswegian accent can be even more difficult. Really? So, uh, no, okay, that's, uh, that's interesting. I do remember when I was in England that I must have met someone from Glasgow because I do remember like that I could not understand him much. But then again, I wasn't fluent in English just yet. So uh, let's see how it goes now. There are words and phrases in Glasgow that sound a bit like a foreign language even. So I'm on a mission to find some people to help. Remove a bit. Let me translate. Okay, so I love the Glaswegian accent and I was wondering if you could teach me some local phrases. Well, it's very hard to bring them to mind. This is the thing. It's only, it's all right when you're always not going to you and happy, happy as always. Hmm? You understand? No way, come on, that's a joke. He didn't actually say it. Did he say something there? Well, if you're from Scotland, specifically from Glasgow, or maybe you just have a better year than me and you know what the heck this guy was on about, but please let me know because I'm curious. To me, it just sounded like... And that was it. No idea, but so fascinating. Oh my gosh, Scots are great. The Scots are great. Let's find another one. Glasgow's got a lot of Neds, a lot of different cultures and all that. So Glasgow's got a lot of Neds. I don't know what a Ned is. And did he say different? He said something and then like that. Places that people come from, they all start trying to fight with each other. A lot of different fights, a lot of different places. A lot of different places. I know he said that because it's interesting because it is one thing I'm noticing about the Scottish accent as I'm trying to analyse it now is if I would say different, he says different. So it's like the I becomes actually closer to a E. So I suppose they would say chicken rather than chicken, probably. But I, I don't know. I was in a gang for a, a year, two years. I was actually... So he was in a gang for one or two years? I was actually quite a lot of fights when I was jumping about like that. Two guys walked up to my pal and caught my... The way he says like that, to say like that, it's something that they also do in some accents in England. Um, Intonation-wise, they will sound different, but the idea of not pronouncing the four syllables, and particularly when there are T's, they are replaced by glottal stop. Um, I'm kind of used to that. It's like when I, I heard someone somewhere, I don't remember where he was in England, but I heard someone say, saying top in it instead of top, isn't it? It's, it's the top, isn't it? Became top in it. <laughs> I remember that. Black bastard and this. But 12 boys ran around the corner and started barking. People in Glasgow that carry a lot back in kitchen. People in Glasgow. Meat cleavers. Different. Weddings. My, my pal is Satan and McDonald's. Did he say my pal is Satan? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I mean, but that's funny because that's what it sounded like to me. <laughs> At four corners and two hours after my pal battered the guy, he came running with two motors and we got chased by a shotgun. And my, my pal was actually caught with one of the guys and he's like, oh, where's your pal? And he had a gun to his head. 
He said something about reaching for a shotgun, right? And then, I don't know. Most of the time it is about respect. If you stab somebody, you're trying to prove a point that you're hard, that you're a big man or that. The guy pulled on it a lot. To prove a point that you're a big man. My pal, my pal cracked him once. The guy hurt the flare and then we caught him. My pal barred him. Sometimes in gangs and all that, they pick on the, the weakest person is to make them like, tougher. They take the weakest person, gangs, and they make him tougher, I believe he said. I would not swear for my life on this, though. Try and get him, uh, we're going to make you harder, we're going to get you to fight with us. And then that's when they try. He did say, we've got to make you harder. And bully, you know, and that's sometimes that did happen to me. But I don't think people really realise if they stab somebody and they get... Gosh, so that's what happened to him, then something with a rolled R and then some day, which is another thing I'm noticing that they might have in common with some northern eastern accents in England, is that instead of saying day or day, they say dear, dear, something like this. That's what it sounded like to me. Please correct me if I'm wrong. It's the first time that I'm really paying attention. Um, usually I can tell when someone speaks, I can tell that, that, that guy's got a Scottish accent, but you know, if you actually pay attention to it, there are some patterns when it comes to both vowel quality and vowel quantity. That's what I'm noticing. In the right place, they can kill them, they can get to jail. You can go to jail for the rest of their life. Or get... He's saying go to jail, you can go to jail for the rest of the life. Also, the way he doesn't say go, he says go. So that's another characteristic, and I wonder if that's, again, a pattern that can be applied to all vowels that in, uh, I want to say, RP, for example, or like in, in English, English, whenever you have an O, like radio, no, don't. Perhaps they would then turn them into no, dawn, uh, etc. That, that, that could be an interesting thing. Could end up coming back to them, they could end up getting stabbed or something. Why my pals get caught after them. And they... uh, end up getting stabbed or something, that's what he said. He, he, he adds or something a lot at the end of words, sentences. Kept them right in the face. It's actually quite fun. As long as I live my life to the best, then that's what I care. As long as I live my life to the best. It, it does say live. Very interesting. Okay, so I found a video that is really good. You need to uh, click the link in the description if you really want to know more about the difference between like a, a, an English sort of standard southern accent uh, in England and a Scottish accent, uh, specifically Glaswegian. And the, it's a video from English Like a Native, as always, you'll find link in the description. And there is one section on minute 3 through 32, which kind of confirms what I was saying and then she's teaching us something or they are teaching us something that is really interesting let's check it out next let's look at the diphthong O in standard British English we have the movement across the vowels O but in a Glaswegian it's straighter like this O oh. so I think I was right Leah I do pronounce it O oh. let's see if she gives us some examples so I would say go and I would say go absolutely so go I would say go home and he would say, go, go home, I suppose. Let's see. And I would say, home. And I would say, home. Go home. Go home. Very interesting. Very interesting. So, yeah, the O is becoming a O. Is it lengthened? Probably not. Go home. Go home. <laughs> Good. And I would say, don't. And I would say, don't. And I would say, no. And I would say, no. Yeah, don't. I don't know. I don't know. So I don't know. 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 And finally, I would say show. Show. Show me the money. Show me the money. The next diphthong we're going to look at is the I diphthong. Again, I move from one vowel to the other. I. I. Like in the word kind. But I. Kind. Yeah, slightly nasalised in your case. But Stephen does... Cain. Which is slightly shorter. It's not just shorter, it's a completely different sound. Caned. Wow. Caned. Orate. That's why they say orate, some people, I suppose. So would they say scape instead of skype or tame instead of time? This is fascinating. That's very kind of you. That's very kind of you. <laughs> wow. That's very kind of you. Well, that's very kind of both of you. I suppose it's very kind 
of you and very kind of you. Uh, this was fascinating trip. I really want to dive more into these kind of accents if you're interested. So we might w make more videos on the uh, Scottish accent and perhaps even we could try Irish and see if we can understand that. And a few of the different types of like Liverpoolian Scouse accent or I think Mancunian for Manchester. We could try a Broomy accent. We could try and understand the Cockneys. Absolutely, we should totally do that. Well, if you like that, let me know, share this video, leave a comment below. And as always, thank you for joining Metatron's Academy.